Welcome to Nugget 225 with Steve and Dana Groman. And you were given a list of questions by some high school students and middle school students. And we thought, well, this would be a great thing to go over as some nuggets. We got some good questions. Good questions. Well, the first question you were given was, according to the Bible, how old is the planet? You know, I want to say one thing about this before we actually get started with it, because uh, we just gave the people a piece of paper. And just ask them, write a question. And so these things are just purely uh, off the top of their head. It's just what they want to know. Because a lot of times students are struggling with something. or they're, I want to go where they wanted to go. So the question was, according to the Bible, how old is the planet? The first thing is the Ten Commandments. Right in the middle of the Ten Commandments, Exodus 20, verse 1 through 17, is Exodus 20, verse 11, which says, For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is. Rest of the seventh day were for the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Now, if it was six days, the heaven and the earth and the sea and everything and all, then that puts a limiting factor on what we should understand, what we should know, what we should believe. Jesus talking in John 5, 46 and 7 says, uh, For had you believed Moses, you would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if you believe not his writings, how shall you believe my words? ERV says it this way. If you really believed Moses, you would believe me because he wrote about me. But you don't believe what he wrote, so you can't believe what I say. I find this very interesting because Jesus talking in John 5 says, We need to believe what Moses wrote, we can't really believe in him. He doesn't say you need to believe Moses wrote something. You need to believe what Moses wrote. Well, who wrote the Ten Commandments? I know God wrote it, but I mean, who penned the Ten Commandments? It was Moses. Who wrote Genesis? It was Moses. And John 5, Jesus talking says, we need to believe what Moses wrote. Well, we got a problem. Mark 10, verse 5 and 6, Jesus answered them and said, because the hardness of your heart wrote these precepts. But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. And he's talking about Adam and Eve. He's talking about mankind. He's talking about marriage and divorce and remarriage and such. Cantaloupe doesn't get married. Dogs don't get married. People get married. He says, but from the beginning of the creation. He didn't say it was a beginning of a new creation or another beginning of a recreation or this beginning of this creation. He said, but from the beginning of the creation. Adam and Eve were here. And this is Jesus talking. So we need to believe what he what he says. And I have a graph here, a timeline of how this would look. It's a fascinating thing because we see things when we look at a graph that we don't see when we just read text. For instance, the Bible says, Adam was 130 and begat Seth. Seth was 105 and begot Enos. Enos was 90 and begot Canaan. Canaan lived 70 years and begot Mahelio. Mahelio lived 65 years and begot Jared. Jared lived 60 and 2 years and begot Enoch. Enoch lived 65 years and begot Methuselah. Methuselah lived 180 and 7 years and begot Lamech. Now, Lamech was Noah's daddy. This is important to remember. Lamech lived 180 and two years and begot a son named Noah. Noah's going to get us through the flood. So we're going from the original creation here all the way down to through the flood so far. This is going to be important. I have this other graph here that the red line goes to the end of where Adam, the Bible says Adam was. Adam lived 130 years, begot Seth, lived 800 years after that. He lived 930 years. So at the end of 930 years, all the way down to Lamech, where his lifespan was, Noah's daddy, you see an amazing thing. As a matter of fact, this is where the flood line just continues on. I put it in here as this dash line, trying to show where people were. The point is, Adam got to meet Noah's daddy. Noah's daddy got to tell Noah what it was like in the garden. So we're talking not a, a loss of translation, not a, a messed up situation or fairy tale or whatever. This is straight from the guy who was there. So if you look at a timeline of all the patriarchs in the Bible and all their lifespans and all that, folks, you graph it back. We've only been here around 6,000 years. That's all there is because Adam and Eve were here from, according to Jesus, the beginning of the creation. And so when we track back and find out when they were here, we can find out it's only a few thousand years. It's certainly not millions. It's certainly not billions. It's only a few thousand years. We would certainly appreciate if you would share our videos with your family and friends. We have YouTube, Steve Groman, Facebook. Follow us on Insatiable Travelers and on Brighton, Insatiable Travelers. Subscribe to our channels also and help us grow them by subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and liking and leaving a comment. All of these things help grow our channels. And for our new subscribers, be sure to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when we put up new videos. Thank you.